Hello, everyone. It's Jason Herndon and Joe Lalich from Kiss My Wax Records. That's the first time we've said that, right? That's right. That's, That's pretty right. cool. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a, a really big special announcement for you guys, and we've got our friend Mark Slaughter from Slaughter here to help us out with it. Um, so we've kind of been diving back into the history of one of my favorite bands, uh, Slaughter. And of course, everybody knows Stick It To You and The Wildlife, but there were three other great records that the band did in the mid to late 90s um, on a little record label called CMC International. And uh, the one we're going to focus on today is an album called Fear No Evil. So um, just a little bit of quick history before we, you know, get Mark in here to talk about this. But, um, the, you know, I'm a huge fan of this record. And as, uh, you know, a lot of people that are watching this that know Joe and I already from the Kiss My Collectibles podcast uh, know that uh, we do we, we like to release some high-end uh, collector's item kind of vinyl pieces. And uh, so I came to Joe one day, uh, probably a couple of years ago, and I said, I would really like to see if we can work on these Slaughter records. And so we just started talking about it, and I was talking to my friend Pat about it, who's best friends with Mark and we just kind of it kind of organically grew into a thing that we're going to tell you all about here in a few minutes so yeah but, pretty cool we're, we're very excited we're, it's a it's a pretty special piece um, Mark and Dana and all the you know and, and Blas from the band have all been great so we're very excited to be working with those guys on uh, you know on this release so it'll be pretty cool we're, we're excited to tell you all about it and to dive in so, so Mark, before we get into the nuts and bolts of what we're actually here to talk about, why don't right. you take us back to 1994, you know, the album come out in 95, right. you know, maybe 93 is actually 93. where we, okay. yes, it's kind of like this 93, we, you know, we did the wildlife record in 92, we toured on it and then 93 came along and we started the record and we got a lot of the stuff done. And then Dana got into a motorcycle accident and then that really, you know, it took us a bit for him to, you know, heal and get back up and running. And, and, uh, so it just kind of, it was, it was a tough time. So then 94 mm -hmm. ish, then we were still with EMI dash chrysalis and, uh, and then we finished the record and it was slated to go out on EMI, but then we knew that there was going to be this big buyout and it was going to change. And then we just said, listen, we're just, we, we want to be off the label and we want to start new and, Tom Lipsky uh, reached out to us about, uh, you know, putting it out on his label. It was a brand new label. And we're like, you know, well, we got to get off this label to go with you. But we worked it out. And uh, we were one of the first bands to uh, jump ship to his label. And then Warrant and many other bands followed. Right. Um, but it was, uh, you know, it was a very trying time. 90s are really tough for, for the bands, uh, all of our or genre because uh, you know it just it changed it was a different dynamic and this is a really raw record that we did we did it uh, analog uh, we did it there's a last uh, it was the last place that Pasha uh, which you know quiet riot and so many bands recorded their drums over there it was such a great drum room we we recorded our drums there the last time before it became a parking lot and uh, so there's a lot of you know as the studios were just kind of starting to fold, we were just getting into those little sweet spots and doing things and, and knowing that, that we've lost it, you know, it just, you know, like what Dave Grohl did with sound city, we were, you know, seeing that with what we were doing and we ended up uh, doing this record and, and uh, it was a very uh, old school, warm, probably sonically my favorite sounding record. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's just a really good sounding record all the way across the board. So to bring this forward uh, to where it was never ever heard before, which is uh, on vinyl, um, this is a very very exciting thing for for Dana Bloss and myself uh, to actually have it to go back to where we never released this and go back to at least have that moment to put it in the placement of how we heard records and how we heard music when we were starting out and what we loved. So I think that's a key point with the record. Love the record. 
There's a lot of great hidden songs in there that uh, uh, a lot of people haven't heard that are, are, are real special to me. So, and same to the guys. So uh, this is a fantastic collection uh, that we're putting together. You guys have done a phenomenal job of pulling it out of us. Uh, I've gone in, we've gotten, you know, demos and, you know, really just bringing all these things forward that are not normal, as well as it will be signed by every living member, meaning Blastina, myself, um, from the get go. So you buy this and it'll be done. So, I mean, uh, our whole idea with this is just to really do something special for <laughs> everybody who, you know, picks this thing up. Yeah, and, and you had talked about not really being a vinyl band because of the because of the time frame no, you know, for, yeah. for the band. So you didn't really have the opportunity or vinyl was really largely phased out at that point. It was. In 1990, well, it was 1989, we had the record finished. And uh, Chris Liss told us, you're going to be the first band on our label that's not going to be replete, you know, put out on vinyl. And we're like, oh, man, that kind of sucks, you know. Right. So yeah, yeah. it just, it was a change, you know, everybody who's CDs right. and a little hotter, hotter mastering everything else. And, and, uh, and obviously cassettes and, uh, there were albums out there and people are like, it was on vinyl. I had one. Well, that was Columbia house. They right. had transferred it over something else. And the, the artwork was, you know, crap, uh, unless you got it from, uh, Europe and there right. was, uh, the UK right. pressing the, the, the German pressing, and uh that's on oh that's on stick it to you this record there's never ever been this opportunity so even for us to get our hands on it and for me to put it on my record player and turn it up in my bigs here is going to be really exciting because you know i'm still a kid in that side i still love to hear music back in that warm vinyl way i mean there's just a sound and there's a vibe to it you know you just get lost in the record you know, nice part of it is I don't have to learn any licks off it anymore. You know, like when I was, when I grew up, I used to pick up the needle and I'd learn all the guitar licks from yeah. whoever it was at the time. I destroyed all my vinyl, but I learned all the licks. It's all good. <laughs> right, right, right. right. But, Very uh, cool. Yeah, so nice. Yes, nice. Great. So do we want to dive in and sort yeah, of talk about, about what we're going to do? Do we want to? Yeah, let's 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 go down the the hit sheet here of what we have. Right, right. So yeah. let me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up here so we can start mm -hmm. to talk about. Just give a, a quick little taste of, of what we're doing, Jason. Do you want to talk about kind of the whole set from from top to bottom? Yeah, we yeah we'll we'll talk about uh, you know the, the the bits and pieces. So what you know what Joe and I um, set out to do was um, you know create. Now, basically, we're calling it the definitive edition of Fear No Evil, and we hope that that's what everybody thinks it is when they get get it in their hands. Um, you know, we've spent a lot of time um, and made a lot of effort contacting every photographer that was involved with the project to find every fi original file that we could. Some files could not be found. Um, <laughs> or maybe we'll yeah. discuss that. Yeah. It, yeah. It's been an interesting journey, and I'm sure yeah. we can talk about that at some point in length, Jason, in, yeah. in another venue. But yeah, it's been an interesting journey to try and for hunt sure. all those people down, and and even like it's been yeah. a little bit of a discovery for you, Mark. A lot of these photographers yeah. and designers, uh, you know, are, it's a discovery for them thinking, oh, you know, I might have that on a disc somewhere, and, right? Oh, we I have, remember that, and you know, it's bringing back all these memories for all these people. Which we is have really stuff that right. this is stuff that would have been lost <laughs> otherwise. I mean, that like I said, this is. The good part of this is, is it's almost like the history of this period. There's right. nothing else that's out there, you know, CD or any other otherwise or or even you know, print wise that has this type of history. Right. And uh, um, so I mean, go ahead and and, yeah. and run down some of the points here. So I right. literally opened up the CD booklet and started going down the list of every contributor, anybody that photographed, anybody that did live photos in the CD. And I went and found those people, you know, if, you know, if our Pat had contacts or Mark had mm -hmm. contacts or, yeah. you know, if, or if I just had to search for them on Facebook or something, but we literally found everyone and spoke to everyone from photographers to the band, to roadies, uh, all kinds of people. And we've, we've, because of that, we have gathered a very, very, very large mass of killer collectibles and items related to Fear No Evil. And we've tried to put it into a nice collection.
that we hope everybody's going to love. So this is what we're doing. We're doing, you know, Slaughter, Fear No Evil, the definitive edition. And you can see there on the screen what Joe has up. And I'm trying to pull my points up now. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. So uh, you're going to get a box set here. And um, inside that box set, we're going to have the original album for the first time on vinyl. It's going to be a 2LP, 45 RPM, half-speed mastered record on black vinyl. Um, you know, trying to go audiophile all the way. The audio was painstakingly transferred from the band's master dats. And uh, so it is a raw, unmastered, you know... It, it's it's not squashed to death. That's it's, right. It's, you know, that's it's right. not it's not like what a lot of record companies are doing now, which is taking their CD audio and either remastering it for vinyl or just bur or just cutting it directly to vinyl. So <clears throat> we're taking that file and we're sending it over to our friend Mayor Applebaum, who has worked with fantastic hundreds yeah. and hundreds and hundreds of artists, including Faith No More and Dream Theater and Dokken and all kinds of people. And we're going to have him master all of this. And he's uh, right. stoked and excited about it too, which is really he's cool. a great he's a guy. He's yeah, I, I've worked. Yeah, I've worked with him on some of the. I you know, when I uh, mixed a few songs for the Madam X record, um, yeah, we sent it over to him, and he he does a great job. He's got great ears, and and he loves this music. And that's it. The key thing is, is this is everybody all the way through put their heart, their passion, and their love ultimately into this record, and that's a different part of it is that you're not losing you know it's like somebody who doesn't care down the line is the weak link and everybody in this whole thing really really there's a lot of love in it so you don't you're not going to find this in other things this is the the one time only so to speak you know it, it really it's is that, it's, it's that cliche by the fans for the fans kind of thing and that is literally what's happening here i mean yeah and, and, it's and, not and, a, and with it, un, unprecedented access from the band as well. I mean, the you know, you guys have just there's, been yeah. So there's great. not like a huge money making thing on this for for anybody. I mean, that's the the other side of it is the cost of doing these records cost a fortune. Yes. But to pull out all these things and do all this stuff, you know, the one thing I can say out of COVID, it, it gave us a lot of time to transfer and do all this stuff <laughs> in our rigs and do things properly. And what we never did, and Dana and I stayed up very late nights talking about, well, wasn't it this and no, is that and this. And, and, you know, the recall, everybody knows what happened and what and when and where we recorded it. And then when we got into the demo side of it, it was just like this, you know, music takes you back just like the sense of smell of where you were at that time when you oh, listen yeah. to music. And I don't care if it's Slaughter or the Beatles or Zeppelin or Kiss or whatever. It takes you back to that moment. And that to us, even listening to the demos, which are actually going to be a part of this package because right. we want people to know in the songwriting process of how we do things. We're an open book. We love for people to hear our, our demos sounded like a lot of people's albums. I mean, it's pretty good sounding considering that sure. it was us, you know, writing down the lyrics mm -hmm. and just throwing it all there just to listen to it. Sure. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a part of this. That's right. Very cool. So Very as cool. Mark said, so we're going to have a bonus record in this thing. <clears throat> and it's basically, you know, as Joe's got up on the screen here, you can see it in the background there. Uh, it's going to have nine rare or never before heard bonus tracks and demos taken directly from the band's archives. You know, Dana and I uh, personally went through and and selected, you know, we were he was dropboxing me and saying, mm -hmm. well, how about this one? And I'm like, well, how about that one? And going back and forth until we right. finally settled on the list. So we did. Uh, we. Uh, we did take, we're using For Your Dreams, which was the Japanese bonus track. That was a finished right. track that you could only get on the Japanese version of the record. Um, that will and be- And the Hard Times. Yeah, and the, the, and the, hard the Hard Times, times thing. Yeah, and the yeah. Hard Times single. <clears throat> there was a Hard Times EP. Um, and there were a couple of these demos that also ended up on that Japanese Hard Times EP as right. well that are also gonna be on this bonus. But then on top of that, we have several other never before released demos. That's um, right. So. And there's some pretty and, and again stuff. to us that that is listening back to that and this was on dat so it's good quality yes. considering you know the fact that this is not like of a you know a crappy cassette that you know 
is is just the the rust oxides falling off of it's it's really good quality i mean we you know i had the the same dats that he did and luckily we're we're able to you know find the best of all worlds and that's right. and that's you know it's just exciting to us to be able to put this yeah. thing forward and you guys again the love in this thing is is really exciting to us yeah so cool. and i've noticed that a lot of people have posted that or you know several people have said all oh, this I can't wait to get this record, you know, out of my head's my favorite song and out of my mm -hmm. head is my favorite song and wait till you right. hear the, wait till you hear the demo guys. It's yeah. it's exciting. Yes, yeah, so. it, it's different. <laughs> it's different and it yeah. was done, you know, again, you can hear the influence of the bands that we work with not to name, mm -hmm. you know, any, but it's it, you can hear all those things and all those flavors of of all these bands that you know, as you tour with them it's kind of like, you know, van halen on the on the first record they did that and then they they came out with the second record and you can hear some of the black sabbath influence that came in on that second record sure and that's because they toured with them that's just that's just a natural course of things it's kind of where your ear gets tuned for a second yeah the dna rubs off a little yeah bit, yeah right? it does right. yeah so in addition to the music those those uh, records were you know will uh, joe will be putting together a beautiful 48 page booklet which he has mostly laid out but we're waiting for a few more pieces to come in. Um, so it'll have all kinds of unseen images. It'll have the, I guess we'll call it the rejected album cover ideas. And mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff that we found. Yeah, that was great. That, yeah. that we actually have high res because we were able to talk to the photographers. That's right. They found all this stuff. So rejected art that we've recreated, what the record would have looked like had it come out that way in high right. res. That's right. Which is so cool. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, and, and you can see all the pieces and parts you know, there was a snake see how wrangler. It all, how it yes, all came it all together. All, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the whole thing between the art and the mm -hmm. demos and all, all that side. You could just see where it came together and where it went into this record. And it became a, a gem to us. And uh, uh, again, it's it's uh, so exciting to put this thing out. That's right. So um, in addition to the book, we'll have five printed glossies. Uh, there'll be black and white shots, right, Joe? I think they're yeah. all black and white. Yeah. So we yeah. have some really high res photos that were taken by Tommy DeSoto. That, and I uh, think when we showed Dana and Mark, I think they both said we've never seen those before. Or at least I think Dana Dana said, I don't think I've ever right. seen those before. So they were yeah. sort of like outtake headshot kind of thing. Right, so, yeah, right. Very, yeah. And then, exactly. and then if you're familiar with, with the CD, you know there's a shot of the band where they're on, in this uh, burned out house and it has uh, they're on a staircase. We've got you know a photo of, uh, of that. Um, so th there'll be some cool stuff. Those five glossies, um, like there's 500 copies of this. I don't think we should mention that from the top. There's only 500 yeah. copies of this box. Yeah. And uh, so it's gone, very limited. This this yeah. will be, once it's done, it's done. That's there's right. not going to yeah. be us saying, hey, and by the way, we decided, no, yep. this is it, man. You know, yep. so. Right. Yep. Right. And, and Mark, you mentioned it earlier, fully signed by the surviving members of the band. That's right. Absolutely. So, so Mark we're, and, and again, with a lot of love, with a lot of love, we're all going to sit in the same room, Bloss and, and Dana and I, we're going to do it all at the same time. So that will be documented and we're going to do it right. I mean, it's not just somebody putting a stamp on it. This is this is us lining them up and and, you know, spending an afternoon, you know, really putting our John Hancock's there, but doing it the right way. I mean, we're right. not we're not just slamming it down. We really care about this. This is you know this is our legacy and we want people to have a piece of it and again this is not a money grab this is a this is a history lesson yeah. of where yeah, the no, band came from to no, me that's how i look at it you know nobody's retiring on on this no 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 this is yeah for the for the time and what everybody's doing is not that that's you right. know you know so you know in that side of it i think that you know it it the end of the day it's just a really cool piece of history yeah. And uh, yeah. so and then, the, you know, one of the last things is we are going to do a replica backstage pass, mm -hmm. um, which I had a couple yeah. of those personally because I, you know, there you go. Got, got to participate yeah, yeah. that I probably saw yeah. the guys, you know, at least 20 times on the Fear No Evil tour back yeah. in the day. So that was, that was absolutely. Good time. So um, let's see. What else do we want to say about it, Joe? We're going to we have put, to spend my life. Don't forget oh, to spend yes. my life thing, oh, which is really cool. You want to talk about that, Mark? Yeah, it's a spend my life. It's kind of the old Willy Wonka's golden ticket mindset. We decided we'd put a spend my life pass in there. And, and you know, what people will get is the recipient of this gets a lifetime pass to see the band live. 
So, right. you know, they just kind of, they're able to come to the show whenever they want. And yeah, uh, yeah that's a pretty, it's pretty cool. You know, that, uh, we don't know many awesome. people it's, doing that, you know, but it's, right. it's, that's, that's a love. That's the, that's how we have it with, with our people. And, you know, it's just that whole side of, we just love bringing people. I don't know how many people we've snuck into shows or put on the list. You know, that's just how we like doing it because it is not just our fans, but their friends. These are people that we've all, we've all grown up together in this. That's right. You know? It's pretty sure cool. That's pretty cool. And, and, and by the way, that, that lifetime pass is a testament to how cool this band is because that was their idea. Nope. Yeah. This, yeah. You know, the, the band came up with this that. and said, they said, hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we throw one of these in there into one of the boxes? Yep. And that right. lucky person gets to see lo uh, Slaughter free. Because it, you know what? Isn't that a awesome. fun idea? Just yes. to go, yeah, yeah man, great. let's just listen. Wouldn't that be fun? And wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever if bands did this? See, we never lost the thought of what we wanted to see in our own bands you know right that we listened to in the in the day if you know zeppelin was doing that, i'd be like oh man i got up and stuff you know it's like you'd want that or yeah. or want to know that your buddy or your friend got it you know regardless it's it's really yeah. cool that's right although we are going to print three of them so jason and i have oh yeah well I, I know lives. yeah exactly you guys have me have me on speed dial so you don't have to worry right. about it as much as we're going back and forth in this it's right, right it's right. all good man right. but yeah to, to reiterate that there's going to be one of these in the box and we will not have any idea where it's going right it's, in fact uh you know just so people know a little bit about how joe and i do these things is we don't actually put this product together ourselves. We have a, a wonderful uh, printer that we work with and, and a fulfillment guy who has worked on almost every project that we have done uh, together, uh, including not in, not just the records that Joe and I have done, but the hottest brand in the land, uh, Kiss book that uh, Nicholas and Joe, Nicholas Buckland and Joe did. You know, he's a, he's a great guy. And uh, right. he's going to be the one that puts that in a box. And we don't, yeah. we have no idea where it's going to go. So that's, yeah, that's there great. will be there it. will there will only be one. That's going to be so cool. We can't yeah, wait yeah, until man. somebody on social media comes out and goes, "Holy oh, hell! God. I just won. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm the yeah. one." I'll be that's seeing be so you cool. next week and the week yeah. after. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, have my, yeah. and have my beers cold for me. You know, it's yeah, all right. Good. Exactly. Yeah. And by the way, that doesn't mean slaughter's flying you anywhere. No. That doesn't. That's mean right. You that's right. On the bus with them. Exactly. You get to get in free, but let's you know, let's not get nuts. Right. Yeah, let's not right. get nuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so there's that. So, I guess what everybody needs to know is uh, the pre-sale for this thing is going to be on the 15th, right? Saturday, the 15th. Saturday, the and, 15th. And um, yep. you can go to uh, kissmywaxrecords.com. Uh, that's where it will be on sale. And um, I would. And we'll put up links in all of our social media. Yes, we'll know, have it everywhere. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll be everywhere, so you'll be able to see. We'll, we'll and we'll give information on times and all that stuff because we we really do expect this thing to go fast. There's only 500 of them. They're hand signed, like like we said, they're lovingly put together. Um, so yeah, we hope everybody digs it as much as we do because we're stoked. We're all excited to hold it in, in our hands and be able yeah, to look man, through I, the book. I, and all of us are. This yeah. is a this is a part of our history and it's a part of where we came from. And and uh, again, I, I I thank you guys for for wanting to do that and that side of it and for us all to make it to where we're putting the money in the product and not just stuff in our pockets which is you know what right. a lot of people do this is really just that thank you to the fans and thank you for for letting this our music be a part of your life and there's not going to be a better way of listening to this and a more inside look of what how the songs put were put together or how it was done than what you're about to experience in this box set. So, you know, right. make sure you grab it because, you know, don't let the moment pass you by. It is gone right. on when it hits that 500. That's, that's it. Right. That's, that's just right. So, and I, just I'm so. not going to be have any more stuff. That's it, man. So <laughs> that's right. That's Nobody it. call Mark and ask for that. Don't ask me. Gone. I'm not. Yeah, exactly. Mark, Mark is getting one copy, so he's not going to have it. any extras to send to you. And, you know, just like Dana will have one, right. I'll have one, Joe will have one. Right. You know, there you so. go. And those don't come out of the 500, by the way. Those no, are, they do not. Those they are test not. pressing. So yes, oh, I didn't mention these will be hand numbered. These yeah, will be that's, hand the other, that's the other and, thing. They will the be hand numbered. The, the signatures will be on the album jacket inside the box. For fear so, no evil proper. For, yeah, not for no evil proper. proper. But yeah, yeah, right. That's yeah. right. 
right. and just so everybody knows, this is a pre-order. We are projecting to deliver sometime in September. Now, I know that's a long way off, uh, but a lot of you know that that watch us on on the Kiss podcast know that uh, I work for uh, the, you know the largest vinyl pressing plant in the country. And right now we are currently at a 14 to 18 week backlog to press anything. So just to press just, anything, not just anything. this, but yeah. anything. Yeah. Even as an employee, I have to get in line and I'm in that 14 to 18. Week well, period. something that everybody so. needs to know, vinyl went away and the, a lot of presses were just pretty much thrown away and, and nobody cared about it. They're gone yeah. and there's just a few of them. So now that this, you know, vinyl's up 900% of where it was years ago, um, there's nobody that can actually facilitate that. You Listen, know, yeah. we, at United, we press 60,000 records a day, and it's still mm -hmm. a 14 to 18 week backlog. Wow. 60,000 records a day. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. So, it's more, crazy. More capacity than any, all of the other little mini pressing plants combined in the United States. It, right. And we still are that far behind. So wow. what, it, what it also shows you is how um, explosive the growth of vinyl is and how right. many more people are going to be looking at sets like this, you know, for right. not only for its, uh, you know, its legacy and its history, but for the collectability side of it as well. Because there's only 500, you know, when you say 500, that means 500 on the planet. That's it. But that's know, it. So, yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, it, you it, just it, start spreading that around to five in this state and five in that state and five over here. And, you know, yeah, it right. just, it goes pretty quick. I five mean, in Brazil. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, six in the UK. And yeah. 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 It, yeah. It's done. So, yeah. Um, it goes quick. So, yeah. So, Mark, thank you for joining us to talk about this. Thank you well, for, thank you. As a fan, thank you for allowing me to be able, and Joe and I. Oh, know, man. I mean, it's just, to it's a pleasure, man. It's just a pleasure mm -hmm. because, I mean, it's, you know, Dana and I were just so ec ecstatic on this whole opportunity because you guys care. We know of what this is we saw what you did with the ace record and and again i know what you guys are, are capable of doing in that side and this is going to be fantastic and you. and you know just to be able to have again history legacy the right stuff the right time and you know we're not flooding the market with a bunch of garbage it's just a, you know 500 shot that's, that's it right. so saturday the 15th that's just as you're watching this probably tomorrow right yeah <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So get to kissmywaxrecords.com and uh, and hit refresh and hit refresh. Right. Yeah, <laughs> and, and when it pops up, you need to purchase immediately. So yeah, uh, and that's it. Joe, you got anything to add? I think that's it. Just again, a big thanks to the whole band. Slaughter's just yeah. been the, the access has been unprecedented. Uh, and we can't thank you enough, man. So yeah. thank, thank you, you guys. I mean, for, for you know what? Away. Thank you. The The most important part of this is thank you to the people who uh, stuck with this in this time. And uh, there's a lot of good memories that, that, that go along with this. And, and uh, we're just so glad to be able to share some deeper cuts and some, some uh, deeper moments uh, within our organization, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. We're excited. Well, that's it guys. We'll get right. out of here and uh, thank you for your purchase in advance. And we'll right. see you on Rock the next roll. one. Woo! There will be a next one. Yeah, well, yeah, that's right. We'll see you on the next one. Mark, Mark, we've got to line you up to record Revolution next. So. There you go. Yeah. Well, All right. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> that's right. All right. <laughs> Live like there's no tomorrow. So we'll that's see right. you later. All right, guys. All, All right. right.